And the OG coach, Blake Shelton, is ready to say goodbye to The Voice after it's 12 years. girl, meet me in the middle. Yes, today we're unwinding with Blake Shelton. Do y'all know he's leaving The Voice? <laughs> Yes, how will we survive? I really enjoyed watching him on the board. So, y'all come and meet me and let's see what he has in store. He's the OG. He's the OG. You be my soft and sweet. I'll be your strong and steady. The reason, you may not even know this, <laughs> the reason there's four coaches on The Voice is because it takes three people to go against me. On Tuesday, NBC announced the upcoming 23rd season, set to debut in 2023, will be the country crooner's final go-round. Come on, buddy. What Blake was trying to tell you is that he's the GOAT of The Voice. In a statement, Blake said he's been wrestling with his decision for a while and decided it's now time for him to step away. Quote, this show has changed my life in every way for the better, and it will always feel like home to me. It's been a hell of a ride over these 12 years of chair turns. When Carson and I were looking at some of the pictures that we were seeing last year, because it was the 20th season, it's like, oh my God, look how young we are. Look how skinny I was back then. Like, how, what happened to me? When you set your ass in a red chair for 10 years and you don't leave, this is what happened. <laughs> okay? Yeah, Blake's been on the singing competition since it debuted in 2011. And voice fans know he's been pointing fingers ever since. I gotta go with Blake. Yes! Blake says in his statement, I've made lifelong bonds with Carson and every single one of my fellow coaches over the years, including my wife, Gwen Stefani. I can't believe you guys have been together for seven years. It's so fast. What's the key, guys? I don't know if there's, I don't know what the secret is. There wasn't. It just we just is. were best friends. It ended up being the greatest moment of my life, you know, so it's just, it's amazing. It mm -hmm. truly is. The country star's fellow coach, John Legend, shared his well wishes on Twitter, writing, you will be missed, brother. What an incredible run. Blake replied, it's been an absolute blast, my friend. It's been an incredible run for Blake. He's won eight times. I love beating uh, the other coaches. It's it's what they pay me to do, actually. <laughs> is. And as viewers know, Blake's made it known he's... I've been doing this a long time on this show. Too long, some might say. But with time, the Grammy winners recognized his priorities have shifted. So I love all the cool things I get to do with my job, but those things are have all take a back seat now to, to Gwen and the kids, and, and it's just a new phase of my life. and. And, uh, and because of that, I don't feel like I'm is necessarily putting myself in, in the rat race anymore. Now, Blake's final season will be a big one, with Kelly Clarkson, the season 21 champ, returning. And two new coaches are joining the panel, Niall Horn and Chance the Rapper. But it's not over for Blake yet, who's currently a coach this season and isn't backing down from a fight. So you do know? you feel more competitive or less competitive? How would you categorize it, more or less? More, more competitive. You got to win for the household? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, this will be one honeybee that will be missed on The Voice. Yes, yeah, so Blake, we will be looking for you on the country music circuit. So if you will, hit that like button ding, hit that subscribe button ding, hit that notification bell ding. Did I say hit that notification bell? Beat that notification bell and make those wonderful comments. Until next time.